Whiskey. Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from Dream of Scotland. Please remember that title, Dream of Scotland. A independent bottler here from Germany. Um, there's a whiskey store in Brühl that is between Cologne and Bonn in um, the middle west of Germany, almost towards Belgium. And he, Marco Bonn, has his own label called Scot Dream of Scotland. Beautiful, beautiful labels as well as excellent, excellent casks. So this is a Glen Alachy. This is 11 years old. This is 53.6%. Distilled um, 2008, bottled 2019. A total of 273 bottles. Um, whiskey base number 127733 costs for a 0 0.5 liter bottle 50 euros which is about 65 68 dollars so um glen Alachy, of course was bought by billy walker and billy walker now is trying to get rid of some of the casks in order to get cash flow which is just understandable now this was actually, first of all, for almost a, over 11 years or for over 10 years, it was um, matured in a ex-bourbon cask and then they gave it a finish in the PX sherry casks. Now, Dream of Scotland, you'll have very, very various um, um, labels. All of them are single casks. All of them are very, very small um, bottlings and they don't often make it outside of the borders of Germany. This is a little bit of a secret tip. If you ever find a Dream of Scot uh, Scotland bottling, buy it. It's going to be one of the most excellent bottlings you've ever had. Except if you do not like Isla whiskeys with a very strong um, moment of, um, of... I forgot the English word. Schwefel. Uh, this is um, phosphor, exactly. A lot of his casks have a very dirty, phosphory type of moment, especially the sherry casks. And he's famous for his Port Charlottes, he's famous for his Brooklades, and they have a very, very acidy type of phosphory type of moment. Lovely if you like it. If you don't like it, it's one of the things you go, eee, yucky. All right, so um, I've done the video in English. This is a fabulous, fabulous bottling because there's no peat in it. I love whiskeys without peat. I'm not the biggest fan of Glen Alachy. By the time this video comes out, I will have visited um, Glen Alachy. I have a private um, appointment there at the distillery. I've um, interviewed people here in Germany at different whiskey fairs. I contacted them and I said, hey, and they said, come on by, a private, private tour. And I'm looking very much forward to that. And every single time I taste Glen Alchi, I get a nice little moment of grapefruit. Yep, grapefruit and chocolate together with a PX Pedro Jimenez cherry that ro raisins. Raisins, chocolates, grapefruit. That's what I get. And the interesting thing, 53.6%. Mmm. Mmm. If you gave this in a blind tasting, I would have said 46, 48. It's so smooth, so nice. Mmm. And the interesting thing is you have that pink grapefruit together with a little bit of raisins on top and to be very very honest this whiskey has a i'm gonna call it a secret weapon dilute it down to 48 percent and it turns into butterscotch i don't know why i don't know how but it's so amazing on the nose, I still get a little bit of bar barrel char. I get the grapefruit. I get the raisin from the PX. Um, uh, and then I try it. Mm, mm, mm. And the finish is a buttery caramel butterscotch bonanza. It's really interesting. I've never had this before. 
the entire time I, I, I described it um, earlier, imagine you see a person, you see the silhouette, you know exactly who it is. And imagine if this person put on a jacket, a down jacket, and that down jacket was the pay X finish. And you can still identify the person in spite of that down jacket. And exactly that's what that PayX finish is. It's a wonderful coating on top of a beautiful whiskey. Now, I'm not sure if every bottling of Glen, um, Glen Archie is beautiful. I had the opportunity to try four of their 50th anniversary bottlings, also 0.5 liter. Um, five times, six times this price. I think I actually would have picked every single time this as the champion compared to those. I like this. This is going to get an absolutely great grade. Grade of a B plus. Wow. Value for money, a C. A solid C. 50 euros here for a 0.5 liter cask or bottle. Um, absolutely um, justified. Now, this is the Mesa collection. If you look on the, on the bottle, you see Mesa. Mesa means trade fair or fair. So it's a fair collection. What Marco Bon did here from Whiskey um, House, actually Whiskey House, H-A-U-S dot D-E, is he created a single cask bottling just for the trade fairs he visits in Germany. And so I was one of the first persons to actually be able to taste this with a label on the bottle. Actually, on Friday on the Whiskey Fair in Hattingen in Germany, they had the whiskey without a label. <laughs> Crazy. And then they actually on Saturday had the whiskey with the label. It was that new and I got this nice little sample bottle from him. Thank you very much, Marco. Okay. Um, if you ever see Dreams of Scotland, take the opportunity, try it, buy it. Um, you will not regret it. Unless it's, of course, a Port Charlotte with a nice little sulfur moment that you don't like. This Glen Alaki is fabulous, but only one of 273 bottles. Thank you very much for watching. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Single cask, rare and exotic. Thank you very much for liking. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for telling others about this crazy American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Things you might not ever see, things you might not ever have heard about, but I love reporting about them. Bye-bye. Thank you.